OK. So if I open uh, course material, exercises, E6 memory, uh, so the exercises are labeled with the same as the, um, the lesson, um, E6 memory, and then exercise. OK, so the, the exercise is to um, use if mem copy 3D. So you've got a, um, a matrix multiplication, a different kind of, a different flavor of matrix multiplication. This is called element wise or Hadamard matrix multiplication. So um, Hadamard matrix multiplication is a lot easier than the other matrix multiplication. All it is, is you take an element of matrix D, multiply it by the corresponding element in matrix E, and that becomes your answer that you put into matrix F. So that's, um, that's uh, really, really easy. Um, and the steps of this uh, are, is that we pass command line arguments, we do device discovery and selection, we allocate matrices D, E, and F on the host, we fill those matrices with random numbers. We allocate matrices D, E, and F on the compute device. Yep, no worries, Alexis. See you tomorrow. Then we run the kernel mat element wise on the device to compute F from D and E. Then we copy F to on the device to F on the host, and then we compare F with the solution um, F answer H. And then we write out D, E, and F to disk and release resources. So using uh, rectangular copies is an important skill to master, especially when you're decomposing your problem into sections that may be handled by different devices. So in this exercise, we're going to enable element-wise matrix multiplication to use a rectangular copy to copy F back to the host. So the source code to edit is located in exercise rectcopy.cpp. So here's the, um, here's the code. Okay, so here's the code. So here's the kernel. Now the kernel's valid. So the kernel works. Um, the code is valid too. So the code works. But when we are copying back, um, we are, um, yeah, when we are copying back, we are just using the hip mem copy. Okay, so, so if I do, if I do, uh, if I build the example and then run it, there is zero residual. So that's great. The answer is fine. Um, so in mat malt pitched mem, there is an example for performing a rectangular copy using hip mem copy 3D. And you might want to copy paste it um, here and make some modifications. OK, so that's all you have to do with this example. And I know that hip mem copy 3D is a pain. But if you go through the pain, um, you can get a handle for the units and you can get a handle for how to use hip mem copy 3D. So that's, um, that's the purpose of, of this exercise is to get um, get experience with using hip mem copy 3D. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy FD back to FH, but we're going to use hip mem copy 3D instead. Now, as a bonus task, can you change the copy so that it only copies back a rectangular region inside FD? So can we leave a border of one cell wide all the way around? 
So can you only copy, can you use HIPMEM copy 3D? And this is something you can't do with HIPMEM copy, not easily anyway. But can you, as a bonus task, can you change the copy so that you only copy a rectangular region inside FD? So you leave a one cell border wide all the way around in your output. So that's the bonus task associated with hip mem copy with this with this example. So you can of course look at the answer um, in exercise rect copy answer um, and run the code. So we build and run the example and it doesn't look like I have implemented the bonus task in the um, in the answer, but the answer uses hip mem copy 3D. Okay, so that is the exercise. Um, I'm more than happy to call it a day for now. And um, we will see you, um, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. Unless, um, unless you need a bit of help, I can stick around for the next 15 minutes. Um, if you if you would like some assistance, I'm more than happy to help out. Um, I will take I will take Hub One offline for the evening, um, but you can use Hub Two um, to work on the exercise. And um, Hub Two is a good one because after the end of the course, um, the satonics allocation will go away, but I can keep Hub going. For a little bit longer um so i can keep, keep hub two going for a little bit longer so hub one's going down after after this but um but hub two will remain up for the duration of the course